Here is the Extreme Tech Slink cell phone Bluetooth to landline telephone adapter. This is comparable in concept to the cell to jack Bluetooth cell phone to landline adapter. I've been using this device for many years and it is fantastic. It's gotten better with time through software updates. It's very reasonably priced at $39 and it's reliable. Great piece of equipment. This thing is much more expensive at $89.99 and uh, it's very flashy and it's got a fancy box and whatever. Uh, this is a, a real simple no frills product. It almost feels like a high school project or something. It comes in a simple package. Very nice. This is a little bit flashy for my preference. Um, they got really thick paper here with I mean you could tell this is this probably cost a lot of money to print this and there's really no reason to do that. Um, anyways, so this one is supposed to sound better than the Celta Jack. Now the Celta Jack doesn't sound terrible, but it definitely sounds inferior to talking on the cell phone handset itself. And I've noticed with Bluetooth, and other people have made this commentary as well, when it's a one-way audio stream, it's generally pretty clear. But when it becomes two-way or bi-directional, like a telephone call would be, the quality just becomes absolutely abysmal. And uh, allegedly, this one is like Bluetooth 5 or something, something new. So I'm wondering if maybe it, uh, it won't, won't be bad. Some nice things about this, the form factor. It's um, got a wall mount so it would fit nicely on my, um, on my server rack. It takes a standard wall wart instead of a USB power which I also prefer. However, there's going to be one major drawback to this one and that is that it does not transmit caller ID information which is baffling because the Celta Jack does and the Celta Jack is half the price. Well, let's go ahead and plug this thing in and see how it works. Part of me kind of hopes that it doesn't sound any different, so I can just send it back and not have any inclination to use it. But if it does sound better, which on the other hand I kind of hope it does, I'll be more open to using the cell phone more often. Um, I would never get rid of my landline connection for the sake of reliability, but uh, I do occasionally get calls on the cell phone, and if I could take them more clearly through the home phones, why not? So, I got my telephone here, and I'm going to go ahead and plug my phone line into this thing. Now, I'm tired and it's late, so if I can figure this out fairly quickly, then this will be a good testament to how easy or difficult this is to use. Um, so it says, press down the Bluetooth button until it starts flashing rapidly and then pair it on the cell phone. So it seems like it would be pretty simple. So let's go in here and we'll uh, open this up here and get to the Bluetooth. Okay, there it is. Okay. So it seems like 
it's paired. So let's go ahead and make a call. Okay, so it's definitely, it sounds more like uh, it would on the cell phone itself. Let's call something else. Jack, it still sounds like a cell phone naturally because that's what it is, but uh, it does sound considerably better. The Celta Jack has kind of a tinny, very limited range audio spectrum, whereas this seems to capture much more of the low end and make more of a richer sound. So, okay, well, I guess this is a keeper because I, I would rather use. I'd rather talk through this than the other one if this is how it sounds. There's much more to be seen, signal range, reliability, etc. Um, well, initially, I'm pleasantly surprised by it. It definitely sounds better. <laughs> 